If you need more space for your virtual system than you originally allocated to it, you can easily increase the disk size of your virtual system regardless if your virtual system is Linux or Windows. I will show you how to do that. Before we do any changes, I always recommend you to create a backup. In case something goes wrong, you can always revert all the changes. To do that, you just need to go to your VirtualBox folder. It's located in my home directory on the Linux machine. And on Windows, it's located, I believe, it's uh, Disk C, Users, and VirtualBox. Go to this folder, select the system which you are going to modify. For example, I will edit my Windows 10 system. And here's the virtual disk image as the extension VDI. So I will just copy it and paste it as a backup here. After the backup is created, it is safe to modify it. In case we do something wrong, we can just copy this image and replace the existing one with it. To change the size of your virtual disk, you just need to go to the file menu, virtual media manager, and then you just select the disk you want to change the size for, Windows 10 in my case, and then you can change the size using this scroll here, or you can type the exact size you want to use. I originally have created this virtual disk for 120 gigs, which I believe is enough, but let's say I need more, so I can make it 130. I click apply. Now if I start my Windows 10 system, and I open Disk Manager. I will see the existing partitions of my system and there is 10 gigs which are unallocated. So we have increased the virtual disk size of our system, however the system doesn't see this additional space. So we need to allocate this space. The same happens if your virtual system is Linux. It will be also shown as unallocated space. To allocate it you need to shut down the running virtual machine. Then you need to download the program which is called gparted, it, is, it can be found at gparted.org. Go to the download link and download this ISO. After it is downloaded, go to the settings of your virtual system, storage, select the empty disk here, then click on this icon and select the menu choose a disk file. Go to your downloads folder and select this gparted ISO image. Add it. Also make it live CD DVD. Click OK. If you installed your system in the EFI mode as I have done, you can check it in the system settings. You can see EFI option is enabled here. You need to press the start button and then press the escape key right away to open the boot menu. Because otherwise it will not boot into the live CD image right away. It will boot your Windows or whatever system you have installed. So after you see this menu, use the key arrows on your keyboard, navigate down to the boot manager and press enter. Then select the CD-ROM image and press enter again. Now you have booted from the live ISO image. Press enter to proceed with the default settings here. Press enter again, we don't need to touch the key map. Gparted has already identified all available partitions of our system and our newly added free space of 10 gigs here. And the complicated part is that the main partition of the Windows system where all the data is located is SDA3. But after that partition we also have partition SDA4, which is the recovery partition for the Windows system. However, our free space is located at the very end. So we cannot just move this free space right to our basic data partition. First, we need to move the SDA4 recovery partition to the very end, and then we can add this additional space to our basic data partition. Maybe it sounds complicated, but I will show you step by step how to do it. So you select the recovery partition of your table, right click on it, resize move, and then you just need to move it to the very end. Click Resize Move, OK. So as you see, now this partition has been moved to the 
almost by the end there is one megabyte of uh, unallocated space and i think it's required by the windows system but our 10 gigs are located here close to our sd3 partition which is our data partition and now we can add it to this data partition we select the data partition right click on it resize move and then instead of moving it we just use this arrow to resize it to the maximum possible size click resize and now as you see this partition has increased to almost 130 gigs and it was 120 gigs before so now we have created a plan how we're gonna repartition our system nothing has been done to our hard drive yet and you can see this plan here first we're gonna move our sda4 partition to the end and then we're gonna grow our sda3 partition to the available space if you do any mistake and something looks wrong here you can always undo by clicking on this back arrow here if everything is right you just click apply here confirm and remember we have a backup copy of our virtual disk so if anything goes wrong here you can always recover from the backup copy the partitions have been moved and resized we had no errors and now everything looks as we wanted it so have we have 10 gigs more for our main data partition table here let's check how it looks in the windows system you click on this exit button then you select reboot press enter here open the disk manager and everything looks nice now we have 100 almost 130 gigs of space right now so we added 10 additional gigs to our system i believe you can also open the file manager go to the disk c and check its size in the properties and as you can see we have 129 gigs of space here which is 10 gigs more than we originally started with i hope this video was helpful and now if you need to increase the space of your virtual system you know how to do that thank you for watching